Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Super Donkey Kong 64. Uh, if you missed the last episode, I really recommend checking it out because there is a lot of information in that that is probably needed to figure out this world. Also, I have to wonder, are there any secret stars in here, maybe? It seems like this is almost set up to be a secret star up here. Uh, it doesn't seem like I can do that. Oh, now this is a whole climbing segment. Oh, he's actually programmed it to where the... The camera can go through walls. That's really useful, actually. Um, it doesn't actually look like there's anything up here. I guess I could have just looked in for first person to see it. Oh, well. In this episode, we're going to be moving on to the next world because I don't think I can actually get any more of the stars here for the time being. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work. Maybe there will be like a switch later on in the game. I also have to wonder if this is the only way to enter this world. I'm assuming that's quicksand, instant death. Not going to bother with that. Guess I'll be collecting 100 coins as I go. Uh, the 100 coins also, I got to mention, will not be nearly as much of a problem as they would be in the original game. Mainly because, like, like I said before, this game does not teleport you out whenever you collect a star. So, really, there's nothing stopping you. Oh, that just straight up gives you a star. Okay. I'm assuming that's because this is not the intended entrance into this stage. Although I'm not exactly sure how you would get to it from the main overworld because I didn't figure out a way to get up top anywhere. So whatever, I'll take it. And uh, Cranky's Lab actually acts as a hub world of sorts. At least a quick warp to every world. That gives us five stars. I am saving up for that super jump and we'll be able to get that with one more star. Uh, might hold off on it for a little bit while we're collecting the 100 coins in here though. So just so y'all know what's going on. And uh, star collection in this game is probably going to go a lot quicker than it would in most other games, simply for the fact that, once again, it does not teleport you out. And that is one of the things I'm looking forward to the most out of the new ROM hack cases making, the Ocarina of Time thing. So, that's something we'll look forward to for sure. I'm also kind of spoiled by Odyssey. Also, wow. I wonder if you can actually ride Yoshi in this game. Or if he's just kind of chilling there in a cage. Not sure if you're actually meant to get to him. I'm sure you are. Oh, secret points. Okay, well, keep an eye out for those. I don't think this world's going to be quite as simple to get through as the first world was. Jungle Japes. Um, Angry Aztec. So it does actually show you. Wait. So it shows you the score for every stage. So you do you can keep track of the stars you have in every level through that. Kind of similar to like you would in Donkey Kong 64. Also, suddenly the music just got really loud. One tiny problem I see with this hack already is just the sound. Like, the, the music volume is just way too high. But uh, that's definitely not too big of a problem because the only other sounds you're hearing are the sound effects of Mario going wahoo 20,000 times. So, whatever, I guess. Oop, no wall jumps? Oh, that's why. There's nothing up there. Another secret spot. Ooh, two secret spots. I'm not gonna go in the temple. I don't know if you can go in it. Oh, secret wall. Or secret wall, I say. Uh, invisible wall. Not sure if you can go to the temple. Not gonna try it because I don't want to lose my coins. As we found out, he does not pull any punches with letting you go into areas to lose your coins. Of course, I can't complain about it too much because he did allow you to get the stars without losing your coin count. I do have to wonder if dying actually takes away your coin count. I'm, I'm assuming it would, but where would it teleport you if you died? I guess that's going to be left for later whenever I do die in one of these levels. Doesn't seem like the hardest ROM hack so far, but once again, we are still pretty early game. So you never know what they'll throw at you later on. Ooh, like that. That's actually not going to be very fun. Oh! I almost feel like you'd have to have the invincible triple jump to pull that off. So once again, we're getting a... Oh! So does it take away your coins then? Oh, it takes you out to the actual entrance. Interesting. Well, in that case, we have six stars, so I guess I might as well go ahead and get that power up. Also, apparently you need every single 50... Like, all that... There's 50 stars in this ROM hack. You need all 50 to open that door there, so... At least he's giving you incentive to go, go for uh, 100% the very least. Do you think we can find any stars in the overworld here? I'm not sure if you would add them in. 
Oh yeah, I guess you could probably just go up this path and it'll probably lead you to Angry Aztec eventually. What's that? I just... Ah. Uh, that was a really wide jump with those vines there. I'm assuming a good portion of me playing this game is just going to be me miffing around in the overworld. Just because I, you know, once again, don't know if there's any actual stars here. Doesn't seem like it. Because if, if there were, I feel like he'd put them in the beginning of the stage where we explored last time where Pauline was. Oh, this is just the entrance. But where of the moving quicksand? It is quicksand and it will sink you... You will sink into it and die in an instant. Thanks for telling me. Wow, so I actually had no reason to <laughs> go across that gap. Sorry if I breathed straight into the microphone. Okay. Well, we do have to collect the coins again then. What does that do? Does that open a path on the other area for the rest of the eight red coins? I think it does. Okay. So then you should be able to get to them then without the triple jump power up. Because if you couldn't, I was honestly probably going to go for the triple jump power up. Okay. Okay, remember I said this seems to be an easy hack? Okay, quicksand changes that. Quicksand changes that real quick. Okay. Uh, not sure how much I'm going to cut out because this is like open world stuff. It seems like I, I feel like I should be showing it all. And it's also cutting really close to Odyssey. Like, noticing while playing this game that a lot of the elements are also used in Odyssey, such as not getting teleported out. You know, it's, it's feeling really similar. And while I am going back to, like, Mario 64 after playing Odyssey, it feels like a bit of a smoother transition simply because of the whole not teleporting you out thing. So that's lucky me, I guess. Wasn't there four in here? No, I guess not. All right, let's... Hurly. Hurly? That's a word. Quickly get over there to see if that actually does a thing. Also, I have to be lower on that vine. That's my only explanation for that. Wow, that is really difficult. I don't know if it was because he was trying to emulate how hard it is in the original game or what. That's brutal, though. All right, let's try this once again. I'm not sure how many times I really want to show me getting those same little coins. Let's try something different. Jumping for the bottom. Barely. You barely connect that. Mmm. That's really tight. Um. Huh. The problem with that being, I don't know if I can even get back after that. Because as we saw, that vine is like in a slightly lower position than, you know, I don't know. I already got all the secret points, didn't I? All right, that doesn't lead to anything but probably a soft lock. Oof, what else is there here? Like, okay. Seeing anything in the air? Because it feels like like I've only found one star in the... Or I guess I've found two stars in this area. Uh, that would leave three more. One for the red coins. I'm assuming one must be for freeing Yoshi. Oh, there's a red coin. Interesting. So, like, what's the deal? Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to get my power up. I know I've been collecting coins, but whatever. I feel like this is needed. All right, what's up? Let's utilize the store for the first time. Uh, not the BLJ. Super jump. Power up installed. You can now jump off of spring platforms. Have fun. All right, sweet. Um, so that's gonna mean, real quick, I'm gonna go back to the first world and utilize that spring jump, and I guess I'll probably try it out in the overworld as well, back in the first room that we checked out, just to see if that actually leads to anything important. I forgot the actual path out of here. Now I guess this works. Yeah, spring jump was up on the top floor of this. Also, once again, I, I feel like I'm not obligated to cut things out just because it's kind of an open world experience, and it's not really going to take too long to get to any given spot in the stage. In the entire world, that is, because you have a you have a quick warp of Cranky. All right, that is dangerously close to death, so I'm not invisible wall. I see this game has a problem with invisible walls. That's fine. So it's like, yeah, just do a normal jump off of that, and it'll hold you in the air. I'm holding down A right now. I'm afraid to release it. Oh, 
You're kidding. Wow. Okay, so it is, it's basically exactly like jumping off of the pedal, pedal dudes from the original game. This game is surprisingly scarce with enemy placement. Oh, I see you. Do I want to get into that little spot? I feel like this cannon's a lot stronger than normal cannons. That might be my problem here. Because I keep aiming way above because it's like, oh, I'll fall down. No, not really. I wonder if I can press Z to cancel this. Okay, pressing A does make you... make you, like, spin faster. All right, yeah, I'll save. Uh, I think the way to get that MIPS might be a switch in the, so the side of that mountain. So we're going to try that out. So it seems like these cannons are a bit stronger. We'll aim, like, there. Okay, still a little low. That's fine. Oh, look at that distance. Oh, that was a beautiful jump and a real quick reset. Huh. I feel like a lot of the challenge of this game is just simply going to be figuring out the puzzles. Maybe a little higher this time. Oh, that's just a one-up? Really? Okay, so that's not for MIPS or anything. A little disappointing. I'm sure... I'm still not sure how to get MIPS. I'm recording this right after the first one, so if you posted it in the comments, I'm sorry. But uh, feel free to give me a tip on that star if you really feel like it. But yeah, I feel like this game's gonna be a bit more of a puzzler than any normal Mario 64. Of course, there are there is still platforming, but it seems to take a backseat to the actual puzzles of this game. And once again, it might just be because, you know, no one's used to using all of this. These fancy things. You do have that super jump. I don't know if it's actually utilized anywhere in this level. I, okay. I feel like it would be, though, since you have all the sections. I'm, I'm actually okay with spawning back here. I want to try out those red coins again. All right, let's see if I can get this. If not, it's a game over, and we'll at least get to show off what a game over looks like in this game. Huh. Ah. That's so weird. Like, grabbing onto the bottom of vines, of course, is going to kill you. Uh, you know what? That spawns us here. <laughs> I, I know I get sidetracked so much when playing this. I'm just so enamored. Also, that literally looks like a glitch texture on the wall, but I know it's supposed to look like random rock stuff. Let's see. What's in DK's house here? If there's maybe a coin? A, co a coin, I say. Star? There's a MIPS. What's up? Yo. It's horrible. All the Kongs have been abducted by some sort of giant turtle monster. Please help us free them. A single dialogue box. Yeah, I talked to you already. It looks like they've pretty much completely stayed faithful. Although I'm not seeing the... Uh, what is it called? The little net... Ham a hammock. I'm not seeing the hammock. And I think you can see the actual kneels that the hammock stayed on. I remember that hammock specifically because you could stand on it in the original game and it just felt so comfy just standing on it, you know? I don't know, that was nothing special. Let's go back to uh, uh, Angry Aztec. All right, I'll admit, I may be a little rusty, but uh, good lord. Oh no, that's not, that's not long jumpable. I believe if I dive, I should, yeah, I have a bigger hitbox there. Okay, we made it. Um, there's also a bunch of coins in here, so that's good. So, if we do this, if we play our cards right, we should never have to do that again. Oh, that looks like a hard long, a hard long jump to do. Yeah, the intended way out of here is like to long jump, right? Oh, goodness. It's just such a tiny platform to aim yourself. Anyway, I think now that we've done that, I definitely want to get the rest of the red coins first things first. So I never have to go back over there. But it seems with the amount of coins they give us, we might actually have to go there for the 100 coins. So if we don't get that in this run, I am afraid. Basically, uh, there's one over here. I think there's one in every little branch of this area. Actually, we've never actually explored back here. Yeah, I'm a little 
tiny bit worried for what the game could throw at us at the end, although that was very much pretty similar to the difficulty of this stage in the first place, just because vines are hard. Also, another Yoshi? Really? How many are there? And there's our last red coin. Oh, that's all the way back in the main world. Okay, uh, we will beeline for that then, I guess. But maybe not before checking out what's over here, actually? Or does it just loop around? I can believe that. Oh, wow, no, there's an entire side of the world that we have not even seen. Okay, let's not bother with that before we get these darn red coins. Because I'll tell you what, I do not want to ever do those certain jumps ever again. That's not a fun time. And uh, I think this is pretty obvious, might not need to be said. I'm not using I'm not using save states. This is not meant to be a difficult ROM hack. And anytime it's not meant to be a difficult ROM hack, ROM hacks uh, or save states will not be used. Just just getting that out there. I think we'll go ahead and just You've recovered eight of the golden stars. Don't forget to trade them at Cranky's Lab. Yeah, you got it, friendo. Cranky's Labo. Interesting. Labo's really cool. Uh, I guess just to get on a little bit of a rant here. I'm ex I'm really excited with what Labo can do. Because they've been hyping up these features that I really couldn't see in the, you know, the original Labo commercial. Like, they've been saying so much customizability. And, like, kids being able to create their own things from it. And I'm not exactly sure where exactly that's going to go. Because I have no idea how they could pull that off, to be completely honest. It seems like something that they're shooting a bit too hard for. But if they do pull it off, you know what? That's crazy cool for Nintendo. And this could be the start of something big, for sure. I don't know. I'm not personally invested in Labo. I don't think I'm going to be grabbing it. It's extremely expensive, and I really don't have the money to do that right now. But it could it could be pretty dang cool. Uh, there are coins over there. I'm going to avoid any difficult platforming for the time being <laughs> in favor of uh, getting a couple of easy stars. Uh, and also not losing the 86 coins I have amassed here, for one. Wow, I don't know why I just didn't think to come this way before. That is a lot of sand, good lord. I think you might half expecting you to be... to have one of... something that's not the super jump, you know? Oh, we need one coin. Oh, golly goodness. Please tell me there's one behind here. Nothing. Nothing. We're... Ooh, extreme danger mode. Oh, there we go. There we go, there's our 100th coin. I guess we'll check this immediate area. If there's anything easy to get, I'll get it. Other than that, I think I'll end it off. Also, I do actually like how it doesn't cut off the music whenever you collect a coin, or collect a star. I keep saying coin instead of star, I'm not sure why. But uh, it makes the, I don't know, the music of Donkey Kong 64 is just so good, and it, this has been translated so well to Mario 64 sound fine. And I'm not sure if Kaze did this himself or he had someone else do it, or if it was maybe already on like Super Mario World uh, forums or something. Oh, that's scary. Wait, this sand isn't moving. Does that mean it's safe? I'm kind of afraid to try it out. Because I'm not sure. I feel like it wouldn't be safe because you can easily enough get everywhere. Uh, I need to know what that pink bomb says. We'll play it safe and if we hit the sand, we'll see what it does. Okay, whatever. I don't want to hit that side of the sand. Oh, nope, we're safe. Good to know. Cool. I see something sparkling at the end of this tunnel. If you want to get through there, you will have to get through the quicksand, though. Have you ever been to Cranky's old lab? Maybe if you combine two of the power-ups, you can get through here. I'm assuming maybe he means the triple jump and the spin, perhaps? Interesting. So there's going to be even combinations of power-ups he's ex expecting you to use. That's a lot farther than I think he would have thought this through. But no, he made sure you were using these power-ups. Yeah, uh, you'd think there maybe be a star near the top of this. Also, one more star and we'll actually be able to get another power-up. And I'm thinking maybe the triple jump, just because it seems to be pretty useful for so many areas. Can I use that box to get to the top, actually? Because I was looking for a way up and I did not see one. Ah, uh, indeed we can. And there's blue coins that we don't need. Neato. Alright, well, those are there if you want them. Good to show it off. Uh, I'm not seeing anything immediately accessible. Let me think of what we've gotten here. We've gotten... We've gotten four stars in this area. Three of which were normal stars, so there would be two left. Uh, one would be at the end of that pathway, I'm, I imagine. What would the other one be? 
Oh, 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 looky here. Guess who invested in the correct power-up? That was a really odd angle. Cannon? What is this gonna get us to? Uh, oh, there's our last star. Wait, no! There's a star over there. So there's more than six stars in every area. I guess it'll be customized. I might have to look, look up all of these stars for each stage, because it seems like it might be different. There we go. Uh, this might be one of the stronger ones. I'm going to test, like, here. Oh, not even close. I'm going to have to shoot it a little stronger than that, Star Fox. All right, let's try that again. Um, where did we shoot from? Was it up there? No. Where did we shoot from? Yeah, it was, because that's the path back. Never mind, then. Ah. This game's uh, a lot more interesting than I honestly thought it was going to be. He said it was a tiny hack, and given it only has 50 stars, just the amount of effort that went into, like, building this world and putting the programming to this game for the power-ups feels like a lot more than a mini hack, to be honest. Maybe, like, there? I don't... I'm not exactly sure where exactly I aimed the first time. Ooh, a tiny bit high. Tiny, tiny bit high. That... Okay, he did not touch me. Scuttlebug be gone. Please? Okay, give me the boost I need. I feel like since I've started trying to get this star, I need to I need to close the deal before I close the episode. So we're gonna we're gonna keep at it. Show it all. Show all the strife. At least it's not too long uh, too long to reset yourself. Uh, oh, that's annoying. Did not like that one bit. There we go. Um, okay. So I aimed a little high last time. Let's go there. That's the exact same spot I aimed at last time, isn't it? And I'm dead. Oh my goodness. Whatever. Whatever. We'll leave that for another episode. Uh, apparently we have a couple of more stars to get there. Hmm. Yeah, that, I don't know how many stars there are. Maybe those were the last two stars and I'm just insane. But uh, see you all in the next episode when we get a bit more. See you all then, and goodbye.